You're listening to Career Ready, and I'm Coach K. Getting you ready for your corporate career. This week, I've been discussing how you can dramatically improve your chances of being hired by doing some creative research in understanding what type of candidate the company or hiring manager is looking for in their employees. I close off this week with the final and third asset, which is the job description or the job spec. A well-listed job will include a very informative and clear job description and job specifications, also known as the job spec. These documents have hidden gems for you to identify what key skills and qualities a candidate should have to succeed in the role. So what are the technical differences between a job description and a job spec. A job description is a document which states an overview of your duties, responsibilities, and functions of that specific job in the company. Whereas a job spec is a statement of the qualifications, personality, traits, and skills that will be required to perform that job. So the job description will include information like your job title, your job location, the job summary, who you will be reporting to, your working conditions, your duties, any specific equipment that you might uh, need to use, and any hazards that you need to be aware of while performing your duties. The job specification or job spec will include the following information. Qualifications required, the experience you need, any training that you might have had that relates to this and training you might receive, Skills required to perform the role, uh, this will include both your hard skills and your soft skills, as well as your responsibilities. Now, the job spec is important because you will use this information to determine whether or not you're eligible to apply for the role, first of all. But also, you can use it to find key qualities that you have in order to highlight these during your interview or in your cover letter. Here's my exercise today on how to really analyze this document and to use it to your advantage. I'm going to need you to do three things. Firstly, you're going to take two highlighters or different colored pens. Second, using your first colored highlighter, I want you to highlight all of the requirements on the job spec that you have or that you meet. Lastly, now taking the second color highlighter, I want you to highlight any requirements that you don't meet, but this is important. Only limit this to five things that you don't have. I don't want you to stress yourself with looking at all of the requirements that you feel you don't have um, on the job spec, and this is going to stress you out from not applying or not continuing with the interview process. All the requirements that you meet will be what you want to highlight and bring into as many of your answers as possible in the interview. But here's what you do with the requirements you don't meet. You firstly recognize them and accept them. Don't try to run away or hide from this. Doing this is what causes you extra anxiety, is what causes you extra stress in the interview because you're constantly hoping that they don't ask you about it. But you need to get ahead of this. So what are you going to do? You need to prepare to be asked about these things in your interview. So know what you're going to say if you're asked about it, because here's actually the thing. And this is my golden tip for the week. Are you ready for it? By the time you are shortlisted for an interview, they know exactly what skills you have and what skills you don't have. But yet they still asked to see you, which means all of the requirements you do not meet are still attractive enough for them to sit with you and engage. At this point, If they ask you about a requirement you don't have, they are just testing your resolve and testing to see how well you are prepared. That's it for this week. I really hope you followed and you took down all the exercises on how you can use this information that is freely given to you to get hired. Um, I want you to do your research and practice those exercises. Take yourself seriously and take the hiring process seriously because if you do, it can be so rewarding. That's it from me. You are listening to Career Ready. Stay connected and continue the conversation with me either on Insta, Facebook, or YouTube at Hello Coach K.